Now we're going to talk a little bit about speaking skills and becoming a better speaker, trainer, facilitator. I've watched Ward a number of times. He's so good with audiences because he's playful with the audience. He laughs. He makes example. He involves people. So you shared just a couple of things with me just recently, like skinetics. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. And skinetics is the, uh, the theory of touching, communicating through touch. And usually it's sort of semi-conscious uh, a touching that people love. Like when I talk, I like to get down into the audience rather than up on a, a, a podium, and uh, and I go down this aisle. And so as I'm talking, I'm I'm, I'm I'm have eye contact with about five or ten people right here. So I don't look at the whole audience. All right, I look at these five or ten people's eyes, and then over here. And as I make my way down the audience as I'm passing the shoulder of this person or that, I have a tendency to, you know, just absentmindedly, as far as they're concerned, touch this and that. And I like to basically uh, feel like I'm welcoming that audience, okay? And Ward mentioned this in terms of skinetics too, that one of the ways, because you touch someone, they feel acceptable to you versus right. like hands off, what a difference that is. And I think that is an unconscious message that it sends. Right. And the, we, the other thing we talked about is playing with names. And uh, Ward talks about, you know, a lot of his examples are in foreclosure, investing, and other things, but calling the bank of Chris or, or whoever name it is. And if you can involve someone, I know, and I'm sure you know out there, when someone has called your name in an audience, you go, oh, you start to perk up. What about? What is that about? Yeah, especially if you want to use an example with a prospect. All right, use the prospect in your example, mm -hmm. okay? So, yeah, I try, you're trying to explain something yep. about a loan, yep. and you say, so, okay, the borrower, Joe, you know, and the guy you're talking to happens to be Joe. Mm -hmm. He's going to be listening to a little more intently to your example. Much more close to that example. Yeah. All right.